Richard Cabral, and we are at Homeboy Industries in downtown LA. Right before Homeboy Industries, um, I was incarcerated for a assault with a deadly weapon, and I was in prison. And yeah, came to Homeboy Industries, and that's where my, my life transformed. Uh, my name is Father Greg Boyle. I'm the founder and executive director of Homeboy Industries. Well, we've been around for 27 years. About 15,000 folks a year walk through our doors and we try to help them redirect their lives. And they come here for hope and healing. And the centerpiece of the program is our 18 month training program. So, you know, we, they come in and they get classes and tattoo removal therapy. Because what has to happen here and it happened for Richard is you have to gain some resilience to be able to re-identify who you are in the world so that you start to move beyond the mind you have. You start to say, oh, I used to think courage was packing a gun, and now I know that that has nothing to do with courage. So Richard went through that transformation here. I, I don't think this place transforms people. I think people find transformation here. I got into acting at Homeboys like, like in the first year, and um, it started with CSI Miami um, and doing background work through central casting. And, but my first principal role was on the television show um, Southland. Um, Christopher Sholak and um, the casting director came from Warner Brothers and invited homeboys to an audition. And none of us had no acting experience whatsoever. And like 10 of us went and we all booked. We all, we, like 10 of us booked principal roles for the first season. That's how it all started. Now I love acting, I love storytelling, but then I was like, I like this and I'd rather do this than that. And that was a seed that got planted. And I mean, then after it came the work and the studying and all that. 911, police fire and medical. My neighbors, they pretty much look like they're dead. American crime is about a situation and how it, one situation could affect so many lives in society. It's real, it's deep, it's, it's raw. The suspects were black and Hispanic. Why are they gonna shoot me? Me and Hector Thorns have so many things in common, like uh, about our life. Like I, 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 I've been through the same things as him. He was a gang member. He, but not just he's a gang member. He, he just has so much emotion, and um, he's just trying to survive in a certain in, in, in a situation, and he has to deal with it. And that's the journey that we take you on. At, here at Homeboy, because it's about healing and the whole person, you're you're trying to get to a place where they can transform their pain so they don't have to transmit it anymore. So it was a perfect kind of marriage for him where his own personal work kind of got wedded to characters he would uh, play in movies and TV and he could use it. He tapped into it. I embrace the person that I am. I embrace these tattoos. I embrace these streets where I come from. And, and, and it's always about evolving. Your art should be limitless. And it, it's worked.